Praise the Lord Jesus. The title of my message today, and in the next 30 minutes, I hope I will be through. <laughs> the title of my message is Our Citizenship. I didn't introduce myself. I bring greeting from my wife. <laughs> I come from Kampala, Uganda. They send greeting to you. Next time, I'll be here with my wife. <laughs> I, I passed a church called Zoe Kingdom Church. Where they were last, last week. Last week is And uh, we love it. You, uh, I love Ethiopia. Ethiopia no I've been eating injera. Injera ye bala huna bara. A very wonderful country. But I'm being kyun agar no. You need to pray for your uh, prime minister. Let the prime minister achu damos aliyo. From the time I I came in. Ezi kama ta abize jamro. I've not stopped to thank God for him. Selasu mama sgeni na lakom kuni. Praise the Lord. Zia beri maskeni. Glory to God. Our citizenship. There is no person under the heart who doesn't belong to a certain nation. We are all citizens of a certain country. Why is this very important? To know where you come from shapes a lot in your life. It shapes how you pray. It builds confidence and authority in you. It defines what you can access from the realm of the spirit. Glory to God. When someone mentioned that I'm from America, I'm a citizen of the United States, they say, way you look at that person. There is a way that person is treated. Even when they are entering into another country, there is a way they are treated. Because of being a citizen of the United States of America. So your citizenship is so important it determines the security that follows you. It determines the security. social security. It determines your what, where you can get a job and where you can go to school. There are certain jobs in this nation that are meant for Ethiopia. If you are not Ethiopian, you can't get a job here. There are certain jobs. Same thing in my country. There are certain jobs that are for Uganda. However nice you look, they will not give you the job. There are certain things you cannot own in Ethiopia unless you are a citizen of Ethiopia. Do you agree with me? Do you agree with me? So that means understanding our citizenship as Christians is very important to the Christian life that we live. So what is citizenship? Citizenship is a relationship between an individual and a state to which the individual owes allegiance and in turn is entitled to its protection. Citizenship implies the status of freedom with accompanying responsibility. You have certain level of freedom 
but also you have a certain level of responsibility you don't just drive anyhow <laughs> you have to keep law and order you have to act responsibly as a citizen do you don't just enter into anybody's house and grab whatever you want to to, 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 to have because you are a citizen. There is a level of responsibility that the government of Ethiopia expects from you. Now, when a man gets born again, and so he is a or she is, yes, is introduced to a spiritual citizen. The book of Philippians chapter 3 verse 20 you can project it. I read from here because of time from the um, Philippians chapter 3 verse 20 I read because of time but we are citizens of the state Commonwealth, homeland, which is in heaven. And from it also, we earnestly and patiently wait the coming of the Lord Jesus Christ, the Messiah, our Savior. Now, the Bible now introduced something new. When we were born in Ethiopia, we became citizens. There are three ways of becoming a citizen of a nation. Number one, by birth. Number two, by marriage. Number three, by registration. And normally that one is applied to refugees. They apply and they are given or rejected. Glory to God. By birth, majority of you here are Ethiopian citizens because you are born in Ethiopia. Are we together? Are we together? But there are some few who became Ethiopian citizens by marriage. They got married to an Ethiopian man and now the government gives them citizenship. But there are also those who became citizens by registration. That is provided within the law of Ethiopia. Glory to God. Now how did we become citizens of heaven? Because the Bible says we are now citizens. Citizens of heaven. How did we become citizens of heaven? By birth. Let's look in the scriptures. John chapter 1. Verse. John chapter, the gospel of John chapter 1 verse 13. Okay. Are you following? I'm not hearing, I'm not hearing you respond. <laughs> Are you following? Okay. John chapter 1 verse 13. Who holds their bath neither to blood nor to the will of the flesh, that of physical impulse or to the will of man, but of a natural father, but that, that of a natural father, but to God, they are born of God. Hallelujah. The Bible says, we are born of God. We are born of God. That is one scripture in case that one does not convince you. Let's look at another scripture. Glory to God. James chapter 1. The book of James. The book of James chapter 1. What does the Bible say? Is it up there? James chapter 1. I'll read from the King James Version. Verse 1. 
Is it of his own will? James chapter 1 verse 18. Of his own will begat he us with the word of truth that we should be a kind of first fruits of his creature. God gave birth to us. According to the word of his truth, he gave birth to us. He never came to consult the elders in Ethiopia to give birth to you. He did not even consult the council of pastors in Ethiopia. When the truth was presented to you, when you believe the truth, you were born into the kingdom of God. You became a child of God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. First Peter chapter 1 verse 23. Say not being born again. Not of the corruptible. But by the, of the incorruptible seed. Of the word of God. That liveth and abided forever. That means every one of us here, if you are born again, you are a citizen of heaven. Say I'm a citizen of heaven. Say I'm a citizen of heaven. <laughs> Glory to God. You are a citizen of heaven. That is very powerful introduction. Now the part which is very important. What are the benefits of being a citizen? That's what I want to capitalize. Listen to me very well. The day you gave your heart to Christ, you receive a new kind of life. You may look the same. The beard are the same. The eyes are the same. The ears are the same. The nose are the same. You look the same. But you are not the same. Something has changed in you. You have received a new life. You don't have two lives. You have the divine life. That life is in you now. <coughs> Listen to me. If you think that you are a human being, you will suffer what human being suffers. Jesus never brought us religion. Jesus brought us life. He brought us life. Before I go to the, 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 the benefit of being a citizen, you got to understand that you receive a new life. John chapter 10 verse 10. The Bible says the thief come and not but for to steal to kill and to destroy. Jesus said but I'm come that you may have and enjoy half and enjoy life. That word life is yeah, a Greek word zoe. I have come that you may have and enjoy the one you receive from your mother you may have and not enjoy it. <laughs> 
There is no guarantee that you will enjoy the natural life. But God gave you a guarantee that you will enjoy the divine life. And you have that life now. I said you have that life now. That life is, the, is it, that life is indestructible. That life cannot be affected and infected by disease and sickness. That is the very life, the very nature and life of God that you have received. Can I ask you a question? When a cow gives birth, it will give birth to what? It will give birth to a calf. When a dog gives birth, what does a dog give birth to? To a dog. When a man gives birth to a child, he gives birth to human beings. When God gives birth, what does God give birth to? God gives birth to God's His children, his children are not subject. They are not subject to sickness and disease. They are not subject to poverty. They are not subject to devils and demons of darkness. You know, many of you, when they, when they tell you, you, you we can make you a citizen of US. You are jumping. <laughs> I'm going to the US. But there's something greater than US. Listen to me. The heavenly citizenship is a higher citizenship. Is greater and higher than any citizenship. Listen to me. You don't need to go to the US to prosper. You don't need to go to South Africa to prosper. You don't need to leave Ethiopia to prosper. With this very life of good that you receive, <laughs> the nation will come to Ethiopia. They will bring their money to Ethiopia. They will bring their gold to Ethiopia. Masa go bahara sa teyala. Can I show you something? The Bible now says in First John, chapter five, verse four. He said, "Whatsoever is born of God overcomes the world." Whatsoever. 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 It doesn't say whosoever. It doesn't say whatsoever. Anything. So if a business came out of you, when other businesses are closing because of COVID and other factors, you should be having branches. You should be opening other branches. And I prophesy in this place that while other businesses are closing, you will be opening new branches. You will be opening new branches. I said you will be opening new branches. Oh, hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory. So, what are the benefits of citizenship? What are the benefits of citizenship? They have a right to vote. Number one. When Ethiopia is voting, when Ethiopia is voting, I cannot come and masquerade to vote. It is for Ethiopian. Unless I become Ethiopian, I cannot vote. The citizens have right to vote. That is one. The second one. The citizens have right to hold public offices. They have right to become public servants. Do you know anybody? 
in this place can become the prime minister, the next prime minister. Listen, 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 listen. Listen, you don't, everything you need to become what you want to become is in your man of God. Did they hear that? I thought they were going to shout. If you have a dream of becoming the prime minister of yes. Ethiopia, the key, the ability, the grace is in your man of God. One day, one time, in Uganda, Uganda, I went to preach in a university fellowship. <laughs> I preached for 15 minutes. And they were having their guild election was about to, to begin. And so I prayed for 15. You don't need three hours for you to go to the next level. God does not work according to the time of man. He's not subject to the time of man. Divine timing is not natural timing. <laughs> I told these young people. I said it is an insult. For so you who carry God to allow to be led by people who don't carry God. There is like one of you, a man you man hear, one of you should become the guild president. After 15 minutes, after the service, one of the boys went and picked nomination form. <laughs> to cut the long story short, he became the guild president of that university. If you can believe your prophet, there is nothing you cannot become in this country. Amen. Let those who have here here. Or the spirit of goodness. Citizens are entitled to social security. They are entitled to health services. Entitled to health services. All nations are on earth. And the Bible says the earth with the gold, with the silver, with the diamond, with the dollars, with the Ethiopian currency, all of it belongs to the Lord. Belongs to the president of our nation. <laughs> it belongs to your father. So, so, if they belong to God, and a citizen is entitled to land, and a citizen is entitled to land, okay, so don't you think you are entitled to land? <laughs> Do you see that? So when you are praying, you are not begging God for land. Ethiopian citizen does not beg the prime minister to own land in this, in this nation. Lack of knowing our citizenship <laughs> has made many Christians to be beggars. We are not beggars. We are believers. We are not beggars. We are believers. We are entitled to be healthy as citizens of heaven. In the it is your right to be healthy. And if you don't know that, you will allow the devil to harass you. 
you will pray begging God to heal you. God is not going to heal you. He gave you the power to command devils of disease to live. Yes. How? And you got to get that authority. You are a citizen of heaven. You have a right to be healthy. And in the name of Jesus, I command sickness and disease to come out of your body now. I command your bones to be healed. I command your body to be healed. Be healed in your body. We cannot beg devils and devils of darkness. We can't. We cannot. They don't have rights. They don't have rights. Imagine if someone from um, from Somalia, you are neighbors to Somalia, <laughs> came and occupied part of Ethiopia and want to enforce he want to enforce his authority over yeah, your do land. Do you think the prime minister would just sit and say, oh, it's okay, just ah, leave them. The, the prime minister will say, oh, please, please, just leave us alone. Do you think that is how the prime minister will respond? You should respond the way the prime minister will respond. Because you have more right on your body than any devil can. Hallelujah. 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 You have a right to be healthy. Don't beg God to heal you. From today, when you are praying, you tell God, say, Father, I thank you because I am a citizen of heaven and I have right to own land. <laughs> I have right to own land in Ethiopia. I mean, how do you want to pray? Father, the Bible says it is written that the whole earth and its fullness thereof is Jews. And I am a citizen of heaven. If this belongs to you, and I have a right to own land in this city. Therefore, in the name of Jesus, I command land to come to me. This is praying as a king. The Bible says he made us. God made us kings and priests. He made us. He made me. He made you. So when we gather like this, this is the gathering of royalty. That's why when you come to church, you need to look at your best clothes. When you come to church, you need to come early and up. When you come to church, come as a dignitary. Yes, because this is the gathering of royalty. Kings have gathered here. According to God, this is the palace. <laughs> I said according to God. This is the gathering of royalty. Because he made us yes. kings and priests. And the Bible says where the word of the king is there is power. Power is everywhere in this place. Power to promote. Power to heal. Power to make rich. And in the name of Jesus, I command money to come to you. 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 Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Oh. 
you are entitled to protection there are certain prayers I don't make Father, please protect me. No, I don't pray like that. I say, in the name of the Lord Jesus. In the name of the Lord Jesus. <laughs> now, I command angels. I command angels to go on duty. Man of God, at 2 a.m. today, the Lord woke me up to pray. You see, you must be aware of your citizenship. And as I pray, I began to send the presence of angels in my hotel room. <laughs> and I knew they were busy doing some work. And I said, yes, oh yes. Everywhere I go, there is a heavenly deployment for my protection. So I'm not afraid of anything. I'm not afraid of anything. I'm not afraid of anything. I'm not afraid of devils. I'm not afraid of demons. Because those that are with me make majority. They are hosts of, of heavenly angels <laughs> that move with me. Brothers and sisters, your eyes, optical eyes, may not see them, but they are everywhere. In your home, they are there. In your business, they are there. In that car, they are there. And they are huge. Angels are so big and mighty in power. The only, the only thing that make angel, render angel powerless are the words of our mouth. When you begin to talk wrongly, when you say things that are wrong, angels are demobilized. They are paralyzed. But when you say what God says, they go into action. Even when you have not prayed, they will act on your behalf. They will act. Why? Because you are a, a, you are the king. Wherever the king goes, security goes. Security goes. Remember, you are a, you are, you are a citizens of heaven, and you are entitled to protection. You are entitled to protection. You are entitled for social security. Meaning that if you don't have a job now, heaven will give you money. I said heaven will give you money. But if you don't know, you will behave like Ethiopian. <laughs> and you suffer like Ethiopian. You pray like Ethiopian. You struggle like Ethiopian. Yet God has taken you from the realm of Ethiopian to the heavenly realm. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Have you understood something? I think my time is up. My time is up. Praise the Lord. Pastor. I mean prophet. This is what the Lord is showing me. The future of this church, the size of this church is not what you see now. The size of this church 
is as big as the vision in your heart. Make no mistake. Don't be deceived by what you see now. The size of this ministry is bigger than what you see now. God is going to cause people to come. Especially young people, prophet. The way you need to invest in the young people. Because the next move of God will be ushered in by the young people. And it will be sustained by the young people. So the Lord is telling me to tell you, invest your time in raising the young generation. Because in them, the strength of this ministry is but the ministry is big. It will touch Addis. Addis it will touch other cities. Yes. Oh. God has raised you as a weapon in his hand. And there is Messiah no force of darkness that will be able to stop what God is going to do through you. Yes. Oh. I see. I see. Can we just stand up on our feet? Yeah. The Hallelujah. I see a sun rising. I alone. I see total. I see illumination in this nation. Yes. I see a sun rising. And the Spirit of God says it is a dawning of a new day in Ethiopia. It's a dawning of a new day in Orion International Church. It is a dawning of a new day. The Lord says what I'm about to do in this church will cause you to forget all the past sorrows. And it will be strong. It will be from glory to glory. From grace to grace. From power to power. And every eyes in this city will see and know that it is the working of the Lord. Hallelujah. 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 And the Lord says, have I not said in my word that the children have given to you are for signs and for wonders. As many as will follow you will walk with you. Yes, God will raise them as a signs and wonders in this nation and across the globe. I see a dawning of a new day, a rising of a new generation, a rising of a fresh fire, a rising of great grace, of fresh grace. Men of prayer, women of prayer shall arise. Badly shall arise. New breed of prophets shall arise. New breed of apostles shall arise. Even pastors, after my own heart, says the Spirit of God, I will raise from this church, I will raise from this city, I will raise from this nation, and they will carry, they will carry my sword, the sword of the spirit, and they will fight the work of the enemy. They are my end time army that I will raise. They shall not break rank, they will run following their path. They will run and conquer territory for my name, so the Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Lift up your hand and praise Him. Just praise Him. 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 Oh, Sagada Mahat. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. 